I'm Tony Doherty and welcome to a very special episode of Max's Muscle TV. Tonight's episode is all about the Max's Muscle Up Challenge. It's the biggest and best transformation challenge in the business and we're pleased to say it's back for 2012. Last year we saw hundreds of people across the country dramatically change their physiques with 12 weeks of discipline, dedication, hard training and focused nutrition and the results were incredible. As part of this process, folks, we took some time to meet the 2011 top 10 finalists, to hear their stories, but most importantly, to find out how they transformed their bodies and what it meant to them and those around them when they did. It's an incredible story, folks, and one we're really proud of. It's certain to inspire you to take your physique to that next level. And with registrations now open for the 2012 challenge, what better time than now to see it? So sit back and enjoy as we find out how 10 special individuals change not only their bodies, but also change their lives. Max's is an Australian company and what they do is they produce high quality protein. They also produce bars and cookies and ready to drink. And they've been around for over 20 years. We are major sponsors of bodybuilding competitions and we also produce magazines and other forms of online media. I've been a personal trainer for over 20 years and quite often I'll have people come up to me at the gym and say, how do I put on muscle? How do I lose weight? I'm frustrated with this or I'm frustrated with that. So the idea came about with that. So what we decided to do is develop the Muscle Up Challenge based on that idea. The Max's Muscle Up Challenge is a 12 week competition designed to see who can best use hard training and focused nutrition to achieve the most amazing results in a 12 week time period. Well in a nutshell, the way the challenge ran was we invited the entrants over a period of a week or two to register. Then we invited them to um, commence the challenge and we also invited them to, on a regular basis, at least weekly, to upload a video of themselves as well as information on how their training was going. Both myself and a panel of judges were looking at the different types of physiques that were presented with their before shots as well as what their after shots look like. So we weren't looking for a big bodybuilder type person. We were looking for someone that had either put on muscle or lost a lot of fat. So the transformation could speak for itself. Then we narrowed it down to 10 for the um, final 10 entrants. And those 10 entrants each got a 12 month sponsorship deal with Max's. They each received trophies and the winner received a $6,000 home theatre system. The runner-up received an iPad and so did the third place getter as well. My name's Adam, I'm a 40 year old. I, uh, I live on the northern beaches. I train at uh, Fitness First at Monavale and also at St Leonard's. My name's Andrew Clark. I'm from Adelaide, South Australia. Uh, I'm a sales professional working for a company called Parker. My name's um, Lucille, I'm from Armidale, New South Wales. I'm a beauty therapist, I run a salon. I'm 28 years old, I'm originally from Queensland, moved down to Sydney. Uh, now I work in a gym just behind a desk, but uh, before that I was a mechanic, so I was on the tools. I'm 39 years old, uh, I come from the Gold Coast, um, Burley Waters. Um, i um, got a wife and three children, they're uh, 6, 8 and 15. My name's Joey Corso. Um, I'm, I'm living in Deer Park, uh, Victoria. I'm out, out in the west. Um, I'm an interior designer or draftsman and I'm um, heavily involved in, in doing gym, like it's a part of the, the daily routine. Yeah, well, I'm 36 years of age. Um, yeah, I've lived in Melbourne all my life. I lived the, um, probably the last six or seven years in St Kilda and just the last year now I've moved to Port Melbourne and um, yeah, love it there along the beach on Bay Street. So. Lots to do, lots of takeaway food to eat and stuff like that. <laughs> All the stuff you shouldn't do. I work full time. Um, I'm a production assistant for a theming company. So pretty much basically I, I, um, I 
physically set up the the decorations in the event. Well, my name is Terry Wilson, I'm 40 years of age and I live in Port Douglas. I own a fitness centre. I've basically training since I was 11. I started as a martial artist and um, I've never stopped. My name's Andrew. Um, basically just been training for about, I don't know, four years. Never really got the results that I was chasing. I've always been a fit and healthy individual. I've run, I come from a cycling background as well. Um, I've done you know, quite a few bits and pieces over the years. As far as my fitness and my health, I've always looked after that aspect um, of myself. I haven't always been involved in fitness. Never really was involved in sport at all through school. I wouldn't say I was always the first bloke or anything like that. I was probably always a little bit chubby, I guess, as a kid growing up especially. Um, definitely carried a bit of weight and all that sort of stuff. Growing up, yeah, I, I was always kind of a fit guy. I'm always active into sports. In the end of year 12, my dad started getting a gym set at home and then I started getting into it and then my friends started getting into it and out of nowhere, our teacher would, would say, oh, well, I have a gym just, just in the school, within the school. Probably ever since I was really young, um, I played a lot of rugby union. That was probably about it for exercise. In the last three or four years, I've been going to the gym when I can and basically trying to build some muscle and, and never really seeing it, but trying to build it. Before I started, I'd been training for probably, I'd only just got into the gym probably about two years beforehand. Um, but before that, I never did any fitness whatsoever, always used to wag. I find that training itself gives you a, diff a different mental focus. Like I've been training for 10 years and it's like, a, it's like brushing my teeth, if that makes any sense. Like it's something that I just feel like, that's it. Um, I do it five, five days a week, have been for about four or five years. I was definitely one of the people that would go to the gym. Um, it would be regularly, like it would be probably three to four times a week, but there was nothing consistent about it. It was get there, there was no training plan. I would just train whatever I felt like training on the day. With three kids, uh, my fitness uh, regime's uh, pretty limited. I probably get three, maybe four opportunities a week to get to the gym. I guess the difficulty that I've had is, is putting all of the pieces of the puzzle together in the respect that there's so many different aspects of you know, weight gain and training that, you know, like that, that can be difficult. Diet's got to be right. Exercise has got to be right. With the start of the year, we had Cyclone Yassi um, up towards far north Queensland. It was supposed to hit Cairns. Um, with that there, I actually shifted my whole house. It was in the flood zone. I shifted it into my gym. That's where my diet went out. Obviously, because I packed up the gym, I couldn't train. I first saw the Maxis Challenge advertised in a Australian muscle supplement shop in Adelaide, and they had a flyer advertised in there on the counter. How I heard about the challenge was on Facebook. It was an event um, created. I clicked on it and I read about it more on it. I just decided to go, if the challenge is there, I'm just going to use it as a motivational a tool that um, to push me and drive me. I met up with a friend and he, he told me, he asked me if I'd help him get ready for this challenge that he saw on Max's Muscle TV. Basically asked if I'd lend him a hand, I said yeah that's fine and um, about a week later I researched it myself and decided that I was going to do it too. I get married this year and we're looking at starting a family next year. So it's, it starts the whole mind thinking about what I've been doing previously and how is this going to impact on what I'm going to do in the future. Before I started the fitness, uh, I, was, I was fairly athletic, uh, but I had a pretty run, bad run uh, over Christmas. I went to Bali, and in the first week, I uh, got Bali belly, and then in the second week, I got washed off some rock surfing. I was on antibiotics and just wasn't, wasn't good in the guts. The reason I did the Maxis Challenge was um, my trainers at the gym. Um, they pushed me to, to give it a go. It was good because I needed something to work towards. I had my wedding sort of um, the year before and after I got to that point I had nothing to work towards. So I was sort of, you know, fluffing about and not really going in and training as hard as I could have been. There's a history of heart disease in my family and my father and my uncle, they both passed away. Um, I was 12 years old when Dad left and that's always been a niggling thing in the back of my mind. He was a very big bloke in the early years and then lost a lot of weight, but it was too late. He wasn't fit by any means, uh, so I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to put myself in the same position and I'd, I want to be around for my kids.